today we are going to discuss about francis turbine and here you can see this one is the turbine in the hydro power plant and this one is the francis turbine one of the category of reaction turbine so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management so here you can see this is the figure of the francis turbine the francis turbine is a water turbine that was developed by James B. Francis and that's why it is called as Francis Turbine means from the name of originator. It is an inward flow reaction turbine that combines radial and axial flow concept. That means water is entered in the radial direction and exit in the axial direction. Francis turbines are the most common water turbine in use today. They operate in a water head from 40 meter to 600 meter and are used primarily for electric power production. This type of turbine has a power output ranges from just a few kilowatts to 800 megawatt. And this figure can be used for the examination. The Francis turbine consists the following major parts. Penstock, next spiral casing, here you can see. Stay vents, this blue color are stay vents. Then guide vents, green color are the guide vents. Then runner and runner blades, this one is the runner. This one is also runner, in which these are the runner blades. And here you can see this one is the runner and these are the runner blades. And last draft tube. This red color is the draft tube. And in this figure this one is the draft tube. And now let's see all the components one by one briefly. So first one is the pan stop. And this one is the pan stop in the hydro power plant. Penstock is a pipe which take water from the dam that means water reservoir and take it to the turbine at very high speed. Here you can see penstock. Next component spiral casing. This one is the spiral casing. The runner is completely enclosed in an airtight spiral casing. This one is a runner and that is completely enclosed by the spiral casing. The casing and runner are always full of water. The blades of the turbines are circularly placed, which means the water striking the blades of the turbine should flow in the circular axis or efficient striking. It is like that. It flows in the circular direction. That means this one is the circular axis. So the spiral casing is used. But due to the circular movement of the water. Here you can see. It losses its pressure. To maintain the same pressure. The diameter of the casing is gradually reduced. Here you can see. The diameter is gradually reduced. So that it maintains uniform velocity striking the runner blades. Next component stay vents and these are the stay vents and here in this figure you can see these are the stay vents and these are the guide vents. These guides the water to the runner blades. Stay vents remain stationary at their position and reduces the swirling of water due to radial flow as it enters the runner blades. Hence makes the turbine more efficient. Next part guide vanes and these are the guide vanes. In this figure you can see these are the guide vanes. Water after passing through stay vents, glides through the 
guide vanes to enter the runner blades. The purpose of the guide vanes is to convert the potential energy of the water into kinetic energy and to direct the water into the runner at an optimum angle. Moreover, they also regulate the flow rate of water into the runner blade and thus controlling the power output of a turbine according to the load on the turbine. Here you can see. Look at this figure also. These are the guide vanes. And look at closely. It will rotate about its own axis and so that it can control the flow of water. And thus controlling the power output of a turbine. Next, runner and runner blades. These are the runner blades, yellow color. And here you can see this one is the runner and these are the runner blades. A runner is a circular wheel on which a series of radial cow vanes are fixed and the surface of the vanes is made very smooth. The radial cow vanes are so shaped that the water enters and leaves the runner without shock. The runners are made of cast steel, cast iron or stainless steel. The runner is connected to the shaft. This one is a runner and that is connected to the shaft. Next part, draft tube. This one is the draft tube. And in this power plant, you can see this one is the draft tube. Draft tube is a pipe of gradually increasing area. Here you can see, which is used for discharging water from turbine to tail race. Its main function is to reduce the water velocity at the time of discharge. The water coming out of runner blades is at considerably low pressure. So, its expanding cross-section area helps it to recover the pressure as it flows towards the tail race. Next, working of Francis turbine. Water is allowed to enter into the spiral casing of the turbine which guides the water through the stay vents and guide vents. The spiral case is kept here in decreasing diameter so that to maintain the flow pressure. Here you can see. The stay vents being stationary at their place removes the swirl and try to make the flow of water more linear. The guide vents converts the water's potential energy to kinetic energy and can also be used to start, stop and regulate flow of the runner. The water enters the runner radially, flowing from outside to inside of the runner. Then water is discharged from turbine to tail trace through the draft tube axially. So it is called as mixed flow turbine. Next, advantages of Francis turbine. The mechanical efficiency of the Pelton wheel decreases faster with wear than Francis turbine. The size of the runner, generator and powerhouse required is small and economical if the Francis turbine is used instead of a big Pelton wheel for the same power generation. The efficiency of Francis turbine often exceeds 90% when the right operating conditions are met. This efficiency does not decrease until the load is below 40%. Next, in Francis turbine, the variation in the operating head can be more easily controlled. Now next, disadvantages of Francis turbine. First, the Francis turbine will lose its efficiency if it is run at 50% load for maximum time. Water which is not clean 
can cause very rapid wear in high head francis turbines there can be difficulty in the overhauling of the turbine that means service of the turbine and also difficulties in the inspection cavitation is an ever present danger that means cavitation is more danger in francis turbine if you compare it with the palton turbine chances of water hammer can be there that means there is a water hammer effect also next application of francis turbine this is the most efficient hydraulic turbine large francis turbine is individually designed for the site to operate at the highest possible efficiency typically over 90% francis turbine may be designed for a wide range of heads and flows that means discharge from 20 meter to 700 meter and their output varies from a few kilowatt to 200 megawatt if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends